the games. Moving on, it is Spain versus Samora, Samoa, a number one, number two clash. Exciting times. Yes, indeed. This is a big ticket. Both these sides play in the RB7 rugby Samoa course side. They have won the RB7 series before. And they are here with their full complement of players. A full strength side that Samoa have traveled with as they build up towards the RB7s. And you can see Rolls, Conosa, Tuera, Juan Cono, Paco Lavino, and Javier Caron. Head coach Jonas has started with his strongest side. Well, Steven Betham of Samoa is not leaving anything to chance. Tapao, Pesamino, Asi, and Soyalo are the key players for this Samoan side. The Polynesians here in Nairobi, they mean business. They've come to win, and playing Spain is just a matter of time. But certainly Spain will be no slouches. With the IRB experience, Hong Kong and Adelaide, they certainly will have fun here at the Nyayo Stadium, the Safari Cup 7th, 2011. The IRB top try scorer... Mikael Pesamino. Patrick Farapale gets proceedings underway. Spain quickly scrambled to recover. Running back with the ball is Javier Caron. Oh Wanting to move the ball. Some more guilty of being offside. Caron just heads to retrieve the football that the Samoans weren't interested in providing him with. So can they weave themselves out of here? They've opted to go for touch. Doesn't find touch. It's flying out to the short side. Good interplay. Coming in hard. On the rock in support. So it's a scrum down to Samoa. We saw Alatasi Tupo scrambling. Get a hold of that. With the likes of Tawilagi and Soyalo on the field right now. One would think it's just a matter of time before we see the first score. Yes, another one and two contest between uh, table topping. Samoa and Spain, both teams comfortably qualifying for the Make Up quarterfinals. It's only a matter who finishes one and two. Samoa not having their way, and Juan Caron leading the Spanish Armada to attack the Samoa Islanders. And Spain, if they can drive it to ground, could be in a bit of a chance here. But they get in trouble, so. Look to Samoa to take this quickly. We've seen the intensity with which they play. Patient build up to attack. Strong running by Sele Sele. Samoa moving the ball wide. Pesamino. Back in support, Pesamino has come off. Plays it out to Tupo. They swing it out wide to Fatou Ina. Huge charge. Patiently building up. Samoa need to be careful to stay on side. This could be ominous as Mikhaili Pesamino finds his support on the outside. Cut back in pass by Soyalo. Once again, Pesamino. They seem to just be working their game, getting the ball working, using the width of the field. It's good tackling by Spain though. They are stopping the men man for man, which is very important. They swing it out right once again. Pesamino almost in a peripheral role. Has he broken through for the tie? And that was Arasiga just tackle short. Huge pass out to Tupo. Tupo with a skip. And Alatasi Tupo is over for Samoa's first try. What a spell of play. Yes, they were very patient in the build up and uh, Tupo has been very, very key to this Samoan side. Just waited for the gap, waited for the hole to open and finally found his chance to give Samoa the first try of this game, a five-pointer. 
Just talking about Mikael Pesamino, he looks very peripheral, possibly saving himself for tomorrow. I mean, they do know that tomorrow it's the hard yards. So he's just playing the role of a supplier and letting uh, Alassi, Alatasi Dupo take centre stage. But I do imagine tomorrow when things have moved a notch higher, Pesamino, Mikael, as we know him, will come to the fore and will come to the party. It is a 7-0 lead for Samoa. The conversion was good. Spain did hold out for as good as about four minutes before finally cracking to the Samoan pressure. But they're very much in this game. And credit to them, their first appearance at the Safari Com 7s has been very commendable. They have class. More of a soccer nation than a rugby nation, but you can see the growth in the second tier European nations. Sevens is also taking a key, key route in those countries. Yeah, there was definitely no advantage there, and there could be trouble there for Spain, and that was Ryan Leroux shoved his foot into the chest of the opposite player, Ryan Leroux. I think it was Felipe who got oh, and that definitely was Patrick Fahapale. We'll have some start marks on his chest later on this evening. But he's got to be careful. We do have sighting officials in the stands watching, so possibly they could look at that as a sighting incident. We'll only know later. But uh, Ryan Leroux, very fortunate to escape a card there from the attentions of uh, referee Barrios Yonker. But the play does continue with Spain on the attack. And it is Juan Cano looking for support. No one in particular, but they do retain the ball, fortunately. But Samoa steal it. And once again, launch the attack. Long pass to... Nice cheeky. No look pass to Mikhaili Pesamino, who makes this... Make looks makes it look so easy, Pesamino. Just swivel his body left and right, and the gap open. Mikaeli Pesamino with his first try at the Safari Com 7s 2011. Pesamino just giving us the ABC attack and be confident, and you will score. ABC for Pesamino. It is a try. Not in a hurry to take the conversion. Just winding down the clock slowly. There is trouble for Where's Taulagi. Number nine, Taulagi, oh, number nine. Afamia Saga. Turn around, please. Turn around. Face. Go. Right. Got an elbow. Cancel the try. Take the elbow go, in the go. face, so Taulagi will cool his heels off. Here we go. Four. Well, certainly no try for Pesamino and uh, Samoa down to six Roll men. Hands up. Mr. Marius Yonka on the advice Hands of up. the first assistant referee awarding Spain a penalty. The score does remain 7-0 in favor of Samoa. Spain with a one-man advantage. Can they turn that advantage into precious points in this game? Possibly cause an upset. Ryan Leroux, a clean pair of heels, certainly one of the speedsters for the Spanish Armada. An excellent try by Ryan Leroux, beating his man on the out and out for Antonia. Wouldn't see him, he scored in almost every game he's played Leroux. In that case, Fatoina did not have the legs to stop the charge of Ryan Leroux as a six-man Samoa take on Spain in extra time of the first half. But last time I watched someone in this tournament, but day one and day two, they are a different side. They seem to have the ability to step it up almost 100% and just show up totally different on the second day. 
And certainly when you see what Mikhail Pesimino is doing, he's just playing the role of a supplier. Tomorrow, I'm sure he will be a dangerous finisher and a good kick by the Spanish Armada. Spain bringing the scores to level. Do we have an upset in the making? So it's seven points apiece as the halftime whistle has gone. Unfortunately for Samoa, they've ended out of six men. But it's stoppage time. The halftime Uta has not gone yet. Or has it, but the referee is playing extra time. Restart by Spain. Controlled eventually by Sele Sele. There's such a thin line on that tackle release because at times there's nowhere to roll to or to release once players coming in to form the rack are bound yes you know peter there will always be endless debate on that call a bit uh, some referees blow it too quick others just give it a bit of time but uh, certainly mr jonka was spot on there he didn't even uh, give the players a, a chance to react he blew his whistle immediately Look at the speed with which they recycle the ball off the breakdown some more. Lightning speed. And at times you'd almost <laughs> think there were more than seven on the field. And this time there are six and Spain contested off their feet. You almost feel that Samoa are going to recover and score a try as we've gone to the 10 minute mark. The support runner is too strong. And Samoa, Patrick Fahapale, is over for another Samoan try. That's the ability of the Samoan side to suddenly raise the tempo. Even when there are six men only on the pitch, a man down shows the quality and the class of this Polynesian side. Patrick Fahapale, his first try of the game. And possibly first try of the tournament, indeed. Tex. Samoa leading 12 points to 7 at the half. Vale, anticipar la liberación. Vale, chicos, defensa. Abajo, no se abajo. no vayas arriba. Abajo, secos abajo. Y una cosa más, chicos. Lo último. Tenéis que ayudaros con los apoyos internos. Len, en el momento que han intentado que tú llegues abajo por la tarde, eso tenéis que ayudaros mucho con los empates internos, ¿vale? Apoyo interno. Fred, they know they're in the main cup. Just going through the motions. They don't want to try too hard. And the peripheral role some of their key players are having right now is a testament to that. Look at Mikael Pesamino. Hardly getting involved in the hard, rough and tumble. But you know the capacity of that man to turn the game around. Turn it on its head when he must. I'm sure he's, he certainly wishes the coach Stephen Betham would actually pull him and let him sit on the bench. I mean, he's literally walking when we know he is one of the paciest players, not only in this tournament, but actually in the world. A good take by the Spanish Amada there. Good kickoff, good take. But Samoa still one man down. Can Spain turn that advantage into much needed points in the second half? The Rochester tackling coming in from Fat Joyner. Spain recover. They swing it out wide and it is the big man, Canosa. Didn't find anyone with his pass. And yeah, you can see he, he knows, should have done better with that. Canosa actually was looking for Juan Cano. But it just didn't come together. And they're making a change. Coming off is the big man, Javier Canosa. That'll be the end of proceedings for him this evening at the 16th edition of the Safari Club. Atmosphere electric at the Nyayo Stadium. Lots of fun all around. It has been a carnival, a feast for the senses. Mikhaili Pesamino puts ball to boot. There is a chase coming. Fair challenge, says the ref. As they play on, coming into the tackle with Fahapale. Wrapping up. 
the Spanish offense. They move it out right, Canosa. Solid tackle coming in from Samoa. They are known for their tackling. I remember in the days of the likes. Who well, had some one tacklers, Herbert? They have had some big tacklers in their day. Patrick Lima. Yes. Brian Lima. Brian Lima, rather. The chiropractor they used to call him. I mean, uh, we've seen Tuilagi as well. Especially the recently completed World Cup. They had, did have big, big hitters. Uh, a feature of their game. They are very, very physical and very, very skillful at the same time. But not extending themselves in this game. I mean, you can see Pesamino literally, literally walking. Two years ago, the USS Sevens, he was such an anonymous figure, but come the final, he did step up and he was the winning difference for the Samoans as they went to win the World Series in that year. So you can know the quality. They do know when to raise the game. They do know when to bring it down. 14-7, it didn't bother them as much as long as they're in the lead. But Spain working very hard. You can see Ryan Leroux there encouraging the rest of the teammates. Maybe the smell they could actually upset or even just hold this Samoan side. It would do good for their rugby. Off the short line out, it's Spain moving it out wide. That was Nick Marshall. And Pesamino on the receiving end of it. Mikhail Pesamino, is he going to go all the way? Is he going to look for support? Let's the ball go. New way. Release her. In close support and Pesamino up on his feet once again, but wasn't released. And New way gives away possession. And you do know Pesamino can actually run faster than what we saw just now. Spain just moving the ball rather frantically trying to find some room which they eventually do on the far side heavy car on wasn't able to do anything much with that hands off, work, hands off. they recycle it well Police two. Levi Asi with the tackle well recycled by Spain now this could be dangerous Release him blue! Hands off! Leave it! Leave it! Once again, it is Spain on the offense. Very clean tackle, but the support runner has come through, and it is Nick Marshall who will cross the drive for Spain, possibly to tie it. What a brace by the Spanish. They dug deep to come back, eventually doing so, and Nick Marshall has pulled one back well they certainly did not give up they've been looking for that try they've played it they've played it they've looked they've passed they've been very disciplined in their attack not giving away the ball and the try by nick marshall a just reward for them spain very much in this game very much giving samoa a run for their money square 14 all between Samoa and Spain what do Samoa have in their artillery or can Spain actually go the extra mile and pull off an upset and that will actually change the, the tournament completely that's right Herbert because should Samoa go down on second seat you know what that means for the draw they've overcooked it well, not a good kick by the Spanish Armada. Basically just handing the ball to Saboa. And now what can Saboa do? Or can the Spanish Armada force a turnover? And Levi Asi almost seemed frustrated with that. Susan chase from Juan Cano. Can you give up? Let me go. It was actually Pablo Feio who never gave up on the tackle. Play, please. Play. 
And wow, what a basic error. Ball didn't leave his hands. Very clear, he shouldn't do that. So, so lucky. Almost miffed by that referee's call. Well, Mr. Marius Jonker is one of the top referees, not only in South Africa, not only in Africa, but actually in the world. I mean, uh, such a basic error was never going to let go. It was never let, never let, let it go. And he's penalized the Samoans. Pause. Giving Sp the Spanish Amada just a bit of an advantage. Well, I thought the referee's whistle would go by now, but he's still playing it on. So did the Spaniards. So did the Spaniards, Peter. But uh, Mr. Jonker knows that there was some time that was lost and he will play the full complement of the game so that was it we're expecting the whistle so it is a draw but Samoa having rigged put up so many points throughout today's matches will still go through on top of their table but we will wait for the final official draw but according to my calculations Herbert it is Samoa who will top this pool as they just went through the motions in that match not doing too much they were in control from the start to the end credit to Spain they gave as much as they got and I've come out with the draw full time score Samoa 14 Spain 14 It is a very interesting finish in Pool C. Both teams tied on eight points, but somewhere with a very healthy points margin will finish.